Thanks for joining us for Midday. Salt Lake City Police have released body camera footage from a deadly officer-involved shooting. ABC4's Rick Aaron was there when they released that video. He's live in Salt Lake City with the story. Rick? Yeah, Brian, I viewed that video just a few minutes ago. It shows the final moments of a police encounter with 30-year-old Cody Belgard, a local rapper who performed under the name of Sea Smoke. Now, this all started on Friday, November 9th at a parking lot in Sugar House where Mr. Belgard gets behind the wheel of a car and rams a police car, nearly hitting a couple of officers before speeding away. Now, after a short chase, he was tracked down in the Rose Park area, and that's where officers closed in five officers fired four with Glock nine millimeter pistols and one with a shotgun striking Cody at least two times and he ultimately died from those injuries after officers fired their weapons they continued to give the suspect commands to drop the gun while approaching to provide medical treatment officers immediately began life-saving techniques and called for emergency medical personnel the suspect was transported to an area hospital in critical condition where he later died from his injuries. At the time, the Salt Lake City Police Department released the investigation to the protocol team. No gun had been found at the scene or on the suspect. Yeah, it turns out that Mr. Belgard did not have any weapon in his possession. And uh, we did hear on the video one of the officers mistakenly say he's got a gun, he's pointing. And that's the point where the officers opened fire upon him. Now, members of Cody's family were here today for this news conference. His parents and his older brother, Marvin Oliveras, they claim that this shooting was not justified, that Cody was set up and executed in cold blood. You'll hear what they have to say coming up later on ABC 4 News at 4, 5, and 6. For now, reporting live downtown, Rick Aaron, ABC 4 News.